What's happening foodies? Back in the kitchen again and today it's like a favourite of all food reviewers I think. Uh, I've, I've been watching a lot of videos and uh, all people, people kind of love this stuff. Um, now I've, I mean, I've done the fish and chips on this channel about a month ago um, so I thought I'd try a new one and it's £1.75 and I'm going to be doing, it's not steak but it's steaklet. It's a curse yours. Steaklet and chips with onion gravy and baked beans. So it's not quite a steak, but it is £1.75. You can get four for six quid at the moment. I got this from Morrison's. I know they do them in a lot of other places, but at Morrison's are four for six quid, so you could possibly reduce that down to further to £1.50. Um, the, um, the, actually, the pie and mash that I did as well about a month ago, the East End pie and mash was by Kershaw's, but they were, they were under a different brand name. So they do, they might be expanding or whatnot. But we'll try this one anyway. Pie, um, steaklet and chips. Um, yeah, so simple, microwavable. It's just easy, innit? Let's have a look at the box. It'd be interesting to know if these were the first ready meal company or if there was someone else, because frozen food since 1946. I would imagine that when these started doing well in the supermarkets, the big the big boys um oh press the one button there <laughs> um the big boys started copying so each cooked meal contains 493 calories there's no actual traffic light system but i'm guessing that that'd be definitely one red in the salt there and possibly three red and a and a green there with the sugar i reckon i reckon the fat and the saturated fat it's quite a lot that 500 calories nearly in this So there are the ingredients, chips 30%, beans 26%, onion gravy 25% and the steaklet. Of the steaklet, the beef 38%, pork 25% textured soya protein, which I know is not very tasty. Um, so the steaklet is actually only 63% meat and it's a mix of beef and pork. So you've got wheat, soya, milk. There's your allergens in there. The beans have got paprika. Did not know that. But it does say manufactured on a site that contains celery, eggs, fish, mullets, all them sort of different allergens. So they, they cover their own back. Um, you can oven cook this or you can microwave it. I'm going to be microwaving it. Cook on full power. Peel the film lid back, turn over the steak, look, recover. So seven minutes cooking, then turn the steak over, recover the film and cook for a further four minutes. We recommend that you only cook from frozen, which this is. Um, there's the full nutritional information if you want to pause that and take a look. Apologies for the shadows, if I turn the light on it just it makes it a little bit better. But they tell you what some others have got, the big breakfast and sausage and chips. 360 grams let's take a look pretty standard that's what it is inside chips beans and the steak clip so we pierce this film lid a few times Get it microwave. What did it say? Seven minutes. Yep, seven minutes. I'll bring you back when it's when I'm turning the steak over. So that is seven minutes. So now we've got to peel this up. Turn the steak, look at that, you can see the onions. I'll tell you what, turn the steak over. And we've got four more minutes to go. So 
<laughs> not too bad this to be fair i was expecting a lot worse to be honest they all come up together always the kershaws always little tiny chips why is that why are they always small so back in for four minutes that's it right now not too bad back in for four minutes and then we'll get it on a plate so it is ready peels off perfectly and that's it I mean you could eat it out of there but I am going to put it onto a plate see if I can make it look like the box so see if I can make it look like that that's the plan so we'll start with the chips they all come up together but we're going to mix them up Oh, the one. Ooh. So the chips are at the back of the meal there. Then the steer clip is across the middle somehow. Into the into the side like that. And then I need a spoon for the beans. And then the onion gravy. Just go over the steak colour, the chips, thinly, get all the onions out there. So, that's it. That is pretty similar. <laughs> so let's have a taste so let's get a few of these chips first Ooh. Mm. I have put salt vinegar and pepper on these aren't bad at all in fact I go as far as saying that these are better than the Cajun fries I had yesterday They're just lacking length. They're just small, that's why. I don't know why they're small. Now, then. Not too bad, not too bad. So, and now the beans. But we know what I'm going to say about these because I always say that. Beans are beans, aren't they? So let's give it a go. Let's see if, what these beans have got to offer. Going to focus? Yeah. You can see some pepper on it because I've put pepper all over the meal. These beans down, mate. Yeah, they're not bad though, them. they're not bad for, for beans. Beans are beans, like, I always say beans are beans, but they are, aren't they, baked beans? We don't, we have, we, I think we have um, HP beans at the moment, but I think beans are beans. I've had Heinz, I've had Morrison's own, Aldi own, beans are beans. So let's try this steak. So let's move this away and put into this steak looked not steak there we go that is the inside so it doesn't look too bad we'll have a couple of couple of bits of it we'll try to get some onions on on a piece here and there onions on the steak let's go with this Let's get into the steak. Ooh. 
you know what that's nice that is really nice you know what it tastes like it tastes like a hamburger you get a fun fair but with onions nice onion gravy that it's like a hamburger with a fun fair So much so, bang that in some bread and butter. A couple of slices of bread and butter with that, and it's, it's, it's cracking. That's really nice. Very impressed with that. Eight out of ten. One pound seventy-five or one fifty if you buy six, uh, buy four for six quid. That's really, really good. I'm very impressed with that. Gershaws, well done. You've done it again. I think been, I think I, go, I like the fish and chips as well, and I definitely like the pie and mash with the herb liquor. Um, yeah. So I might just try another Gershaws. So I expect another one soon. I might give you a sneak peek. Sneak peek to me. I'll, I'll, in fact, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. But stay tuned for one more second and I'll, you can have a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Big fake away tomorrow. I bought one of these from Morrison's. So we got what I've been curry in our house, me and the missus. Jal Fraser, tikka masala, pillar rice, barges, naan bread. Indian fake away tomorrow. So I'll catch you then, 3 o'clock tomorrow.